Um, basically, Muslims are taught all their lives that the Quran has been perfectly preserved right down to the letter. But in addition to that, they, they this becomes, they're taught to use this as an objection to the Bible. It becomes, so it, it simultaneously, one, this props up their own faith, and two, it allows them to attack Christianity when their claim is completely false. There's a lot of talk about the Quran in the town, as they say, right? We will present our evidence whether the Quran, which was actually given to the Prophet of Islam, as we the Muslims claim, right? Or as the Prophet claimed that the Quran is a revelation directly from God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Okay, he is the one who gave the Quran to the Prophet, and then he delivered this Quran to his companions, and his companions delivered that very Quran in two forms: the physical form in copies, and the uh, the, the oral form, the reading form, in um, a multiply attested transmission, generation to generation. Okay, mm -hmm. this is how the Quran was transmitted to us. And mm -hmm. we will see whether that particular Quran is with us today mm -hmm. and it has been transmitted word by word. Okay, so let's inshallah start with the very first clip from the BBC yeah. about the Birmingham parchment. The oldest Quran from Birmingham video, right? Yes. Okay, just going to play that for you now. Let's play the video and let's talk about it inshallah. You're looking at one of the oldest fragments of the Quran ever discovered. It's written on parchment, most likely made from sheep or goat skin, and it's been dated by experts as being more than 1300 years old. And that makes it among the earliest known fragments of the Quran anywhere in the world. And it's here in the University of Birmingham. This remarkable document had been resting on the shelves of the university library for decades without anybody realizing just how old it was, until a researcher decided to take a closer look. The pages were radiocarbon dated to no later than the year 645, which means the university has found one of the very earliest known examples. The manuscript had been stored here in a collection of Middle Eastern documents brought to Birmingham in the 1920s. Academics here say that this discovery goes back to the earliest years of Islam. The person who actually wrote it may well have known the Prophet Muhammad. He would have seen him probably. He would maybe have heard him preach. Um, he may have known him personally, and that really is quite a thought to conjure with. But it is definitely from the first century. So let's read from it. Yes, Let's shall. read from a copy of the Quran from the first century and see how similar it is to my copy in my hand today, printed in Saudi Arabia today. Okay? Yeah. Uh, okay? And uh, this is the Arabic of the prophet and his companions not that it is different to what we read in the quran today but uh, the reason why i said that is because this is the script the prophet's companions used to write the quran i repeat this is the exact script that was used by the companions of the prophet to write the quran and this copy is from their times it has been radiocarbon dated to their time so let's read it from the very first verse okay this is the beginning of surah taha by the way okay mm -hmm. surah taha is surah 20 you follow with the cursor please start with bismillah bismillah yep. ar-rahman ar-rahim okay taha taha okay this is exactly what is written in my modern copy here mm -hmm. it is in front of me i'm doing a comparison word by word and word word. By word. yes why are you going through these i i noticed this these dots after bismillah rahman rahim these... higher separators okay. higher separators Allah. Higher, Allah. higher separators yes yeah. this is the, these these dots separate the verses subhanallah Allah. even the verses Allah. were separated as early as that okay yeah. now next word after bismillah rahman rahim immediately is taha yeah. Okay. Pa and ha. Okay. Is there. You can see it with the cursor. Yep. Good. Next one. Ma anzalna. Ma anzalna. Alayka. We go to the next line now, Brother Imran. Yep. Yeah. Alayka. This is alayka. Okay. Al Qurana. Alayka al Qurana. Okay. Litashqa. 
litashqa okay exactly word by word what we have in our modern copy here okay mm -hmm. people are looking at this video when they're watching this video they can put the modern copy right. in front of them yeah. and they can follow the text okay Absolutely. now let's go to the verse before so another another point we learn here the surah order in the life of the prophet Absolutely. okay and the companions is exactly the same because um, the surah before is surah maryam chapter 19 of the quran the so, chapter about the chapter about the mother of jesus christ so, so no, but I, think, I think this needs to really Subhan, let me just emphasize this once more what we're seeing here is not only is the text the same literally but the the breaking of the the ayat where they stop and where they end is the same and even the order of the surahs is the same from what we have in front of us yes Absolutely. There, there you have it. The copies there is from the life of the prophet this is, and this his companions is, this is, and his companions. The copy is there in front of you. You can um, read it. You can read it today. It's exactly word by word what you read in your modern copies. Word by word. So if you go to islamicawareness.org, there is a list of Qur'ans from the first century. We have the entirety of the Quran, the entirety of the Quran from the first century, the entire Quran, we have it from the first century. Okay, in different libraries, okay, we even have complete copies. The Husseini Mosque manuscript, which is from the first century in Cairo, it is 99%, 99% complete. The complete text of the Quran, only first two or three pages are missing. Surah, Surah Al-Fatiha and maybe one, uh, the, uh, the very early verses of uh, Surah Baqarah are missing. The rest of the Quran is there. Husseini mm -hmm. Mosque Manuscript. Allahu Akbar. But there's some individuals that are online and that are deliberately jumping on any opportunity they get, bro. Literally any opportunity. They're clutching as straws just to make a case against Islam, bro. They're the last people you want to go to. As you know why they have to do it? Because yeah. their own scripture is entirely corrupt. Yeah. Okay. When I say entirely corrupt, from page one to the page last, they don't ex they don't have what the authors actually wrote. Mm. Here we have the Quran from the first century. Okay, uh, where we read word by word exactly what the Prophet taught his companions and what they transmitted to us in our modern copies. It has reached us in mo in our modern copies. And then on top of that, Western scholars, yeah, Western non-Muslim scholars are saying. Muslims have exactly the same Quran Muhammad taught to his companions and then they delivered it to posterity. Mm -hmm. What more do you need? That, that's one of the reasons that I've had trouble with uh, traditional Christianity is because of the uh, the changes that scribes have made in the text. But it's not the only thing. The Another you know, issue is the uh, internal discrepancies that you find within the New Testament and within the Bible. And... Um, uh, I uh, I do know that the Quran has been faithfully uh, transmitted over the centuries, and for some reason Christians decided not to transmit their book uh, as faithfully. There's not really uh, not a lot to be done with the Quran because I mean so many of these manuscripts are just the same. So yeah, so there's not, there's not a lot of scholarship to do because I mean with the New Testament though you have all these thousands of manuscripts that are all different from each other. So uh, so that makes uh, the scholarship more interesting.